And it's just like, why would you expand your shade range by one when you've already got one? They're all dirty and I don't want to put a dirty brush on my face. I can't say nothing to me. I think I've got SPF in my mouth. No, but honestly, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see an ASMR video. I haven't done that in a while. I think I did a food one a while back. Today's post notification shout out is going to go to R Begum because I really see you girl. Like, thank you so much for watching a lot of my videos. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to get a shout out next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Today, we're actually going to be reviewing two new cream bronzers. I've got the XX Revolution Bronze Skin Cream Bronzer and then the NARS, I think this is new, the NARS Sunkissed Bronzing Cream. I thought I'd do like a high-end versus drugstore there's a massive difference in price between these two i was kind of talking quietly because my brother bought his friends over and i just felt a bit awkward i felt awkward you know so the nars one is 30 pounds get 19 grams and i got the shade casino looks like they only have two shades which i don't understand and casino's out of stock on cult beauty it offers a deliciously smooth soft matte finish it minimizes the look of pores so you can choose between two of the brand's iconic shades laguna and casino now i know like these are cream bronzers right but like i don't feel like everyone can use these two shades like for example i was looking into like reviewing the chanel cream bronzer that recently came out in a darker shade but they literally came out with one darker shade that i feel like will barely show up on me and it's just like why would you expand your shade range by one when you've already got one and i'm not going to be reviewing it because there's just no point what's the point of reviewing something that not everyone can use like i just don't get it i feel like they can do better than two but i think the revolution one's same so i don't know maybe it's a bronzer thing maybe there's you don't need that many shades but all i know is that fenty's got loads of shades and huda beauty they got loads of shades so <sighs> can't say nothing to me i think i've got spf in my mouth mind the face though because like my makeup's half done so the xx revolution one um is 15 pounds so it's literally half the price it's a cream to powder bronzer enriched with vitamin c niacinamide papaya blendable wearable and dries in a super soft matte finish so they both give like a matte finish you get 28 grams half the price and you get way more product 28 grams okay those are the two shades together we've got the XX Revolution here and the NARS one here, you definitely get way more product in the XX Revolution one. So we're gonna try the Revolution one first. I've run out of my stippling brushes, but I really prefer stippling brushes for cream bronzers, but they're all dirty and I don't wanna put a dirty brush on my face. I kind of really like the shade. That's a nice warm shade. It's definitely more on the warmer side. I mean, blended beautifully. It has a little bit of a glow to it, but it says it dries down. I don't know if that's because of my base, but the shade is perfect. I love it. And it blended so nicely, even though I'm not using a, a stippling brush. So I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna put a little bit on the side of my nose. There we go. The NARS one definitely feels way more like creamier and it's more on the cooler side. Got Revolution and NARS. They're definitely similar but different tones. So I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh, it smells like a holiday, you know? Does the Revolution one smell? No, we don't, but this one smells like, smells nice. I like both of them. I like both of them. They're very, very nice. Both are very nice. This one gives more of like a contour effect, but do you know what? It gives warmth. This one way more warmth than this one, but they are both really, really nice. I actually feel like this one looks more matte compared to this one. Okay, let me finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, to be honest, I didn't really do much. I just set my under eyes and put a little bit of blush in the center of my lips and that's it. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with the both. I would use the both happily. I'll definitely update the info box on like longevity if I notice anything. But to be honest, both are wearing very, very nicely. 
I'm very pleased. I like both, but if you're looking for a bargain, you can easily go for the, the Revolution one and you get more product. I don't know why, but I just love the NARS side. I'm more drawn to it, but this side is equally equally as good. I, I'm just being picky, but like I like both. So yeah, definitely recommend them. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick review for you guys. I hope you found it helpful. And if you want me to try any other products, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already so you can join the family. And give this video a thumbs up because it really helps your girl out. And yeah, I will see you in my next video.